Can you believe it's been a year since the Elizabeth Line's core section opened? I mean, I can, that's why I made this video. But nevertheless, it does seem to have gone rather quickly. One year on, how's it doing? Well, by most accounts, pretty well. TfL's figures show that it's carrying 3.5 million passengers per week. And according to The Economist, one in six rail journeys in London include the Elizabeth Line. It's on course to break even this year, which is quite remarkable. I mean, I do agree with the school of thought that says that transport should be considered in terms of overall benefit to society rather than being expected to make a profit in itself, but nevertheless, it's a very impressive achievement. In fact, the workspace operator IWG noted that their offices along the Elizabeth Line have seen a 23% higher number of users than those elsewhere. Despite much carping from the usual quarters, I think we can say that, on the whole, the Elizabeth Line has been a success. The service has been gradually improving over the last year, culminating on Sunday with the launch of the final full timetable. This saw a service of 24 trains per hour at peak times introduced over the core section, which also means 14 trains per hour to Shenfield, 12 to Abbey Wood and 6 to Heathrow. On Sunday, I travelled on the Elizabeth Line. I hadn't actually been intending to, but as it turned out, my plans for the day meant that using the Lizzie was the best option. I took a train from West Ealing in West London to Abbey Wood in South East London, and the journey took less than half an hour, which is, frankly, pretty incredible. Before the Elizabeth Line, I would have had to take a train into Paddington, get the Circle Line to Cannon Street, and then another train out to Abbey Wood it would not have taken 26 minutes. Then I had to get to West Ham. The section from Abbey Wood to Custom House took only six minutes. In general, I find myself using this line quite a lot. It's great for hopping across town from west to east, or vice versa. Of course, things aren't perfect. Until a couple of days ago, it was looking like there might be a strike today. The Transport Salaried Staff Association, whose members were planning the walkout, were in dispute with Rail for London infrastructure over pay. However, the union received an offer which has, if not totally eliminated the possibility of strikes in future, at least postponed this one. There have also been reliability issues with the Class 345 trains revolving around the software. There was recently a software upgrade which could cause the trains to put their emergency brakes on unnecessarily. I'm glad I'm not the only one who gets held up by software upgrades. TfL have been pretty frank about this issue and the steps taken to fix it, which I like. I'd far rather they were straight up about these things than use a lot of corporate management speak. Another significant flaw with the trains is the lack of luggage space, which on a train that serves Heathrow means that overcrowding is common. If you've used the line, you'll know how crowded it can get at the best of times. TfL is currently negotiating with the government for funding for more trains. There are troubles at the western end, too. This is a section where the line shares its tracks, and that means that if there's a problem with another service, it impacts the Elizabeth line. Since April, freight trains, which are not noted for their speed, have been diverted onto the Elizabeth line tracks due to a bridge requiring maintenance. Frankly, this is a pain in the backside for everyone. Nevertheless, the line has undoubtedly improved travel in the capital. Dare I even say, revolutionised it. And I will be interested to see how things go in the future as the new timetable beds in. Happy birthday to the Elizabeth Line. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do click that like button and subscribe for more. I would like to thank my donors on Ko-fi and Patreon and here on YouTube. You are the software patch to my malfunctioning train. And I will see you all again very soon. Cheerio.